Did you know why so many people blow the motors on these cars? Besides that, it could be because Nissan did not design this motor to go in this car. This dipstick is notoriously difficult to read if you check it normally. It's awkwardly placed by the intake, but if we just rotate this way, you can see the dipstick is easy to access and they eventually redesigned it to be front and center in a straight shot. If I follow the owner's manual, run it to temp, wait 10 minutes and then check. There's oil splashed all the way up the dipstick 15 minutes after running it. How are you supposed to get a clear reading? If you can read that, you're much better than me. So in this case, best option is to check it in the morning before you start the car. Pull it out, wipe it off, reinsert and wiggle it around and check again. And now we can see we're basically at the full mark. I could be wrong, but I've heard that the problem is that the head uses a dipstick tube as an oil drain, which drips down the dipstick and makes it impossible to read without sitting for a while. Now you know why people blow up their VQs, like and follow for more.